Getting out each and every day, and whether it's at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 7 o'clock, whatever time it is, whether you look tired or you look like crap, or it's even before you shower, whatever it is, make sure you get outside and you live the beautiful life that you are given. Like, I'm sitting on this park bench right now, and we're gonna go to the beach, and you know, people aren't waking up in the morning and they're waiting until night. Why are you waiting? You're wasting so much of your life sitting there waiting for something to happen when you can get up and go do it. And the way to do that is to start off your morning right, start off the next day day right start off everything right and you can do that right now right here you can pause this video and you can go out and go do it I sound like I'm joking but I'm really not I'm so sick and tired of it let's make the change look who decided to show up oh my god she brought her dog hello look at you you're looking snazzy oh almost ran over my dog with my rollerblades hi I biked she rollerbladed and brought a dog Ready to go. Just a young gun with a quick fuse. I was up tight, wanna land loose. I was dreaming of bigger things and wanna leave my old life behind. Not a yes sir, not a follow up. Fit the box, fit the mold, have a seat. Oh yeah, take a number. I was like, hey, look the thunder. Thunder.
when you think a surrogate award is going to be a good idea. Can't even speak right. She's dying. Good job. Woo! And did it with a view. And a poppers! Hello. Do I get a high five? I'm not that good? All right, cool. What? Does this mean it's recording? Yeah, <laughs> record? <laughs> yeah. I think so. <laughs> Wait, but we can't record this because that's milestone. Interval. Oh. Aww. Uh -huh. Just got back from the beach and working out with Sarah. And something that helps me a lot with my morning routine or just being motivated to work up, work up, <laughs> wake up, creating a, a smoothie and having more than one breakfast and more than one meal each day. And it kind of just like gets you excited for the next moment. So I just made myself a nice little omelet with some mushrooms and cheese. And then I made a smoothie and I put an egg in it. I don't know if that's weird, but we're just looking out at the view. And it's important to take time to yourself to relax Enjoy what you have, and um, yeah, we're, we're one more thing, and then we should be good for the morning. And then, ladies and gents, the shower. Showering is key. It gets all the dirt off you, physical and emotional. And I, the, yeah, I have a lot of shoes, and the closet's a mess. I'm a mess. What else is new? The next day, I got a little bit later of a start. It's 8 a.m. and I'm not in frame. <laughs> little later of a start, it's 8 a.m. I made myself a brekkie this morning and a nice latte. And just know that you don't have to make every single day the same. You don't have to have a smoothie or oatmeal or a cereal or a brekkie every single day. You don't have to have a latte every single day. I find getting yourself in that routine doesn't really allow yourself to be excited to wake up because you're like, oh, I have to do the same thing. Go, treat yourself every now and then. Get the food you want. So when you wake up, you can have the food you want. Or if you don't eat when you wake up, get the latte and have some fun with yourself. If you can wake up every single day and you're worried about, oh, I don't have like, I, I don't have the money to do it, blah, 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 blah. Like, there's a whole bunch of different reasons. But if you're able to wake up every single day a couple hours earlier, feeling 10 times more motivated, I guarantee you, you are gonna make that money back within those hours rather than you sleeping in bed and being sad. <laughs> I guarantee it. Now, uh, I'm, I'm gonna feast. <laughs> okay, yes, hello. Let's acknowledge this first. Um, mirror's broken, but it still works, so I still keep it. Just because I'm a little broken doesn't mean I don't work. That's all I'm trying to say. I have to sip through all the foam to get to the good stuff. I got to the good stuff. So, welcome. Hi, um, I'm Joey, and uh, it, it, it's 8 a.m. Are you up too? My glasses are really, really dirty for a video. I'm sorry. I knew what I was gonna say, but now I just, I, like, I'm completely blanking. I can't, I'm a little camera shy, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. A lot of people ask me every day, what keeps you motivated to wake up in the morning? How do you go to bed at 2 a.m., but yet wake up at 8? Mom, don't watch this and get mad at me, okay? And the reason I'm able to do that is because I am so excited to get up and live my life. Two weeks, no, two months ago, I was not like this. You're gonna have these days and these months and these weeks and these whatever where it's gonna fluctuate. You're gonna be like, I really want to live. And then other days you're gonna be like, ah, you know what? I'm gonna wait on that, and that's okay. You don't always have to be in this happy-go-lucky mood. It's all right to like sit down and have an off day, but it will ruin your routine, and you're gonna have to start all over again. But that's okay. Three days ago, I had this night out, and I didn't get home until like 4 a.m., then I had to wake up the next day at 7. That completely, <clears throat> excuse me. My mom called me and said I had to start saying excuse me when I burp on camera. I'm about to do it again. Squeeze me. I don't know. I did, what is this? I got home at 4 a.m. and then I had to wake up at like 7 or 8 the next day, and that kind of just like that ruined my whole entire schedule. But it kind of motivated me to start again, to try again, and to make my life 10 times better. Now I wake up every day at between 7 and 8, and I go and I go for a run, and I get outside, and I make the breakfast I want, and I work out, and I get work done. And I'm filming this video before you guys are even up sometimes. Well, some of you. <laughs> 
Oh, somebody just bought merch. You can sit there and complain about your life. You can complain about your morning and you not being excited and everything like that. But when is you actually gonna do something? When are you gonna take initiative and say, okay, if this is making me feel like this, why don't we change it? If you have trouble waking up in the morning, it's because you are not excited to live the next day. Why not create something for the next day that gets you excited to wake up? I tell every single person I meet this. I'm so excited to wake up the next day and go on my walk to a coffee shop and do my work. I'm in love with what I do. I'm in love with my work and last year I was not. And this year I am and it's totally different and it's different for everybody and I don't want you thinking that if you're not like me, then you're not right. If you're not like them, you're not right. If you're not like you, that's when you're not right. Stay you. It's okay. There's a bunch of tips that m makes you motivated to wake up in the morning, and that's great. You can go to Wikipedia or whatever, I don't know, buzzfeed.com for that stuff. What I'm here to tell you, you need to create something that is exciting for you the next day. That's the way it's gonna happen. You have to get up, you have to shower. Hygiene is so important. It literally takes off that physical filth and that emotional filth and allows you to start a day refreshed. And whether you shower in the morning or you shower at night or whatever, it allows you to like really just get your energy back. Trust me, I don't know the science behind it, but it it, trust me. You can sit around and you can wait for life. You can sit around and you can say, what if it doesn't work? We can say what if about anything. So here's my what if for you. What if you never try it? What if you never try it to the point where you never know that it helps? What if creating your morning routine or whatever it is you're doing changes your life? What if waking up two hours earlier allows you to meet the person you love walking on the street? What if getting up just a little bit earlier allows you to create more of a business for yourself, allows you to get more work done? What if waking up, being excited, allows you to be happy in life? There's a bunch of what ifs. It's all about if you wanna make the change. It's all about if you wanna answer the what if question. Or stop thinking about the what ifs and get your ass out of bed and go live your goddamn life. I apologize for saying goddamn, I shouldn't have said goddamn. Go live your life, it's beautiful and I don't want you to waste it. I really don't want you to waste it. I don't wanna waste mine. That's why I work every single day all the time and I never say no to people and I know that's really bad. That's a whole different topic. Just plan something exciting for the next day so you are excited to wake up. That is my best advice. Whether it is making a latte or having the food that you really wanna have or seeing your best friend or going to a coffee shop or going to school or giving a great presentation or work, whatever it is. If you're not excited to wake up the next day doing something, then should you be doing that? Be excited for life. It'll change your life. Anyways, that's it. I hope this video helped you. Really don't know. We all know I'm a little bit of a mess, but hey, that's my life and I'm excited to live my messy life every single damn day. And I hope you are too. And if you want to join me on my journey, make sure you go down there, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification because YouTube just changed it from, I think it's in chronological order now. I don't really know. It's in the order where you're never going to see my videos unless you have that bell notification on. So make sure you go click that. It will mean the world to me. And I'm going to say thank you to everybody who does it. So comment down below if you do it. And give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. I'll, I can do more like this if you want to see more. But um, yeah. And then merch is obviously still linked down below. Anyways, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I love you all very much. Thank you so much for all the su support and success and literally everything. Um, and I will see you guys on, on Monday. Okay. I love you guys. And uh, stay, stay beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to go down this latte.